Lexi and I am so happy to finally be filming this video like it feels like I completely forgot how to sit down and talk to a camera it's been so long since I just sat down and filmed a video just speaking to you guys that wasn't a vlog so today's video is going to encompass a lot I am pretty much just gonna be like catching you up on what's been going on in my life maybe like spilling some tea some emotions some like favorite TV shows trying a brand new exciting vegan product talking about food basically this video is just gonna be a little bit of everything kind of hanging out with you guys pretending like we're getting lunch or dinner together and just catching up like old friends because we are so if you don't have some food I would suggest getting like a snack or a meal right now so that we can be like eating along with each other or if you like to watch this kind of video without food you do you but personally I cannot watch mukbangs unless I have food too or else it's just not near as fun it's not the same experience so I highly recommend getting some food so before I eat I want to give a shout out to Nugs for hooking it up with these vegan chicken nuggets I know some of you guys might have like seen the thumbnail and been shook like oh my god is she not vegan anymore but no I definitely am three and a half years going strong I still haven't died of protein deficiency yet so got that going for me these vegan chicken nuggets are pretty new to the market and what's interesting and kind of unique about them is that they are both gluten free and soy free which usually like gluten and soy are the main things they use in mock meat products so this one is actually made out of pea protein which I've never had as like a meat replacement before so that'll be interesting to try and I'm super excited about it so I will link them below if you want to get some for yourself also there's memes on the box so like can't get better than that the serving size was five but this is a mukbang so I doubled it and then I also made some frozen sweet potato fries I was gonna cut up an actual sweet potato and make it but it went bad because I waited too long so this is what we're dealing with the food is probably going to be like ice cold by the time I bite into it because of how long I'm making this intro so let's just get started and I'm going to put the box away so these don't all completely defrost I'm about to start eating but I also made a list on my phone of topics I wanted to cover in this video because you guys don't know much about what's going on in my life before I dive into that let's just try these vegan chicken nuggets because they are sitting here and they look so good like I don't know if you guys can see this plate but they look delicious I used to be one of those people who said I could never go vegan I was obsessed with McDonald's McNuggets anytime I went anywhere I would always say oh can we stop at McDonald's so I can get some McNuggets I was addicted to them and I don't even know why looking back what's really great now though is even if you are still craving those things you don't have to give them up because there's a vegan version of literally everything now like I once had vegan shrimp and it was the best thing ever like I still dream about it um, personally I don't really crave mock meat products much but you know sometimes I make exceptions and when an awesome vegan brand reaches out to you you know what you do you say yes to the free nuggets so I'm also just gonna have some ketchup with this of course um, sometimes I like mixing sriracha and ketchup I feel like just great culinary combo I want to have some water it's not that exciting but okay this is my first time trying these chicken nuggets they look exactly like a McNugget so let's see oh my god they remind me so much of McDonald's chicken McNuggets I kid you not I feel like it's the breading that makes it a crispiness it's just a great combination with it I kind of am wishing that I made more because like I don't know if 10 is even enough but oh my god yeah I definitely think you could fool a meat eater with these sorry in advance if there's like food stuck in my teeth because I feel like that's kind of inevitable with a mukbang also if you hate math sounds this might not be the video for you but anyways as you can tell I am back home now for the summer finished my freshman year of college so yeah. Yeah, there's that um as you guys know this last semester was a lot for me like emotionally life was wild there were some highs there were some lows there were a lot of lows i'm gonna keep it real and not completely 100 percent positive but i still persevered on i went back to school like you know pretty soon after my mom passed and i just kind of devoted all my time well actually no i didn't devote all my time to school i kind of like bs my way through the second semester if i'm being completely real but I was so happy that I finished the semester with all A's and my GPA is like almost to a 3.9 now. Um, I don't think it's ever going to get to a 4.0 just because of like the way I calculated it. Like it's impossible now unless I have like a 4.1 every other semester. But I'm really happy with how I did. I got four A's and one A minus, I believe. And that's cool with me. So yeah, I was pretty proud of myself. And then as soon as school went out, I went to Turks and Caicos with my aunt and grandma. So that was a ton of fun. And then as soon as I got back, I pretty much just like went job hunting because I knew this summer I needed to make some money to pay for tuition and for food and just like general living in New York City because it's expensive. Like my bank account definitely took a hit this past year. Mm. 
I love sweet potato fries. I think that they are superior to normal fries. But yeah, as soon as I got home from Turks and Caicos, I was just applying to jobs. I got an email back from a retail store I applied to saying that they were having a hiring event, so I went in for that. Um, it was like a five minute interview and I literally got the job offer on the spot. That was great. The first job I had an interview for this summer, I got immediately and I've been slaving away there. Um, but I really like my coworkers. I love the managers and there's one manager who I know might watch my videos. So shout out to Michael if you're watching this. But yeah, I've basically been spending all of my summer working there now. And I'm not going to say the retail store just because, well, this you probably could figure it out with these clues. But there's only like one in my city. So like if I say it, everyone's going to know which one it is. And I have had subscribers come up to me at work, but like they didn't know in advance that I worked there and it's all good. So like if you ever see me in public, say hi, but just not going to say it in this video. But yeah, anyways, I've been spending a lot of time there and the pay is a lot better than my last job so it's actually like a good use of my time I feel like I'm just trying to be really smart with my money right now so I pretty much don't eat out unless it's like with friends but I've been trying to like meal prep I'm not only saving money but also fueling myself with good healthy meals I kind of eat the same things every week but like mix it up a little bit you know my go-to's have been making like burrito bowls um, pesto pasta with veggies I eat a lot of hummus and chips and carrots. I've been trying to get into making salads because I've normally not been a salad person, but like, I figure it's easy, it's good for you, why not do that? Um, the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi is life-changing, so those are a few of the things I've been making, but I'm always trying to mix it up. If you guys have any like easy vegan meal suggestions that you make all the time, let me know. And I do want to do like a what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week type videos because my diet lately has been getting a lot healthier. Like I don't really have any like fake products anymore. I used to occasionally have like fake cheese, maybe like some fake nuggets every once in a while. Well, like this. I mean, sometimes I still eat fake products, but for the most part, I feel like eating whole foods really makes me feel my best. Oh, and another thing about my job was like they told me at first you had to wear all black. So I ordered a bunch of all black clothes and then now I'm being informed. So it's kind of pointless. But I wanted to give a shout out to Shein for hooking it up with the black clothes. I'm going to film a little mini haul portion after I finish eating, so let's just cut to that right now. The first thing I got is just a classic strappy black bodysuit, and this one fits so perfectly. It's not super annoying to pee in because it has like little snaps at the bottom. Any kind of pattern short, I feel like this is a great piece to have. Pattern short, is that proper grammar or is it pattern shorts? I feel like I don't know. I should have been taught this in high school English. Now when I hear an adult say black slacks, I feel like this is the classic pair of black slacks that I think of. They're just plain elastic waistband black pants and they do have pockets and um, nothing exciting at the bottom. They're just plain black pants, but they're great. They get the job done and I feel like they actually fit really well too. And then I got another pair of black pants, except these ones have a zipper instead of an elastic waistband and they're a little spicy, a little different because at the bottom they have these little triangle shaped cutouts. And I'm gonna be Honest, I actually didn't get around to wearing this one just because it's hot and I was wearing pretty much the bodysuit all the time that I could but this one's still pretty lightweight I definitely could have worn it it's just a plain little triangle cutout shirt and I don't know what it is with me in triangles this shirt has a triangle right now Illuminati confirmed I'm sorry I forgot we were in 2012 anymore um, and then the last thing why am I showing it like on this hanger I don't know this video like I forgot how to make YouTube videos so just bear with me but this is just another plain black pair of pants except this one does come with a belt i dropped the belt on the floor let me pick it up it has this nice silver belt because it's like utility style you know yeah. thanks so much shein of course everything will be linked down below lately my life has just been work 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 and then i've also been going to yoga pretty much as much as i can like in the mornings before work and i feel like that really starts my day off on a positive note but yeah i'm just in money saving mode not only for school but also because in August, I think I'm going to Hong Kong to visit one of my best friends, Megan, so I am so excited for that. So if any of you guys live in Hong Kong and you want me to do a meetup, let me know because I'm kind of thinking about that, but I don't know if there's enough people. And also, if you've been to Hong Kong and you have recommendations on like things to do, restaurants, let me know because I would love to hear your recommendations. Oh, and also another thing, I feel like ever since my freshman year started, like maybe halfway through my freshman year, I got so lazy and like inactive on youtube and i just want to say i'm genuinely sorry about that i've just been feeling very uninspired with the content that i'm making like i do love vlogging but i feel like it gets repetitive and then aside from that like i don't know what i want to do i've just been feeling a lack of inspiration i guess and i don't want to be putting out stuff that i'm not really proud of i don't want to just do what's popular i want to do stuff that i actually 
enjoy making and enjoy uploading for you guys. So if you have any specific requests, let me know. Now that it's summer, I really do want to get back into the swing of YouTube things. And then once I go back to school in New York, I want to do more like lifestyle New York videos. I'm going to be living in like an official New York apartment. So I'm super excited about that because before it was a dorm, but like this next year, I'm living with Gabby and Megan, so it's official. We actually got our room together even though we were in this annoying overflow process. And then one other random roommate, so we're all going to be living together and it's going to have like a kitchen, a living room, like separate rooms, bathrooms. So I'm going to do like an apartment tour and more lifestyle videos about that. So get excited. The New York content will be back soon. That's weird. After living in New York, like every other city seems so slow. Like Austin now seems so quiet and slow paced. And I do like Austin because I love nature. I definitely miss nature. But ugh, New York is just something else, you know? I just want to say I love the spices on these chicken nuggets. Like it's not just like basic salt and pepper and ooh, that's spicy. Like they actually did put some seasoning in there. I love when I'm eating out with like the white side of my family and then there's like a little bit of salt, maybe like a tiny bit of red pepper and they're like, ooh, there's really a kick to this. I'm literally jumping like all over the place with the topics, but have you guys seen how big of a trend food combining is now? How do you feel about it? Um, I do feel like there could be some science behind it, but for me personally, I just feel like it's not practical to actually put into practice because I don't always have the time in the morning to drink a huge fruit smoothie and then wait like another 30 minutes to have the rest of my breakfast. And also, I love fruit. I pretty much want fruit with like every meal and then a snacks too. So I don't want to just have all my fruit in the morning. I just love eating fruit all the time. I'm pretty sure after I finish this, I'm going to go eat the cotton candy grapes I bought recently. So I don't know about it. Like if it can help you, then that's great. Keep doing it. Go for it. But I don't know. It just seems a little restrictive to me to be like, oh, you can't have broccoli and apples together or else it's the end of the world. Your digestion will be ruined. You know, like if it's convenient and it works for you, do it. But don't stress too, too much about the things you eat. Like I feel like what's more important is the foods that you're eating. Like if they're good, healthy foods, then like it shouldn't matter too much what you're mixing them with. I don't know. That's just what I think. But I could be totally wrong. I definitely miss the dipping sauces from By Chloe. Like those are A1. Next spring, I'm pretty much almost 100% sure that I'm going to be in London. I just sent off my application, so I'm studying abroad there. And originally, I did want to study abroad in Saigon because, like, that's where my dad's from. But I'm graduating a year early because of AP credits. Like, I have 30 AP credits. And in order to be able to be taking, like, the five full classes and graduate that year early, the only option I really had was to go to London because a lot of study abroad places, like, you're doing your electives, but I already have all my electives from AP credits, so yeah, London was the only place that would work for me, but I'm still so grateful and so excited to be able to go there. Also, it's not going to be just London, like I plan on pretty much traveling all over Europe while I'm there, so it's going to be a great experience. Law of Attraction is real, guys. Kind of related to Law of Attraction, but not really. The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, I don't know how to pronounce his name, life-changing book, 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm reading another book by him right now called A New Earth, which is all about like spiritual awakening and the ego and just like analyzing the world we currently live in and the role the ego plays in it kind of so yeah I, i'm not super far into it but i really like it and i think he's a great author spiritual teacher so if you're looking for something new hit him up also lately in terms of media i've been engaging with i hate to admit it but i love the bachelor franchise i've been super into the bachelorette and every episode, I fall more and more in love with Tyler C. Like, if Hannah doesn't want him, I will gladly take him. Also, Big Brother, like my favorite show ever, is back. So I've been watching that. So let me know who your favorites are on Bachelorette and Big Brother if you watch either of those shows. I'm a sucker for reality TV, what can I say? And then in terms of non-reality TV, I've been watching a lot of BoJack Horseman. I don't know why I haven't started this show sooner. It's so funny. Also, random, but lately I've been feeling so introverted and I don't know why. Like, I've always been an introverted person, but lately more than ever, I've just been loving my own company, which is a good thing, but then also sometimes I feel like I'm too secluded and I should, like, put myself out there and make plans with people, so... I don't know. It's this weird balance. Also, I looked at my birth chart recently. I don't really believe in that stuff because I don't feel like I embody a Leo, but it's still just interesting. I was trying to look at my other signs to see if maybe I could find some validity behind them, but I don't know. I'll explain it to you guys what I am, and you can tell me if you think those things apply to me or not, but I'm, I'm a little skeptical. So my main sign is a Leo, which is like sun in Leo, which I've known. I think my moon is in Aquarius, um, and then my rising... Sagittarius? Uh, I can't remember completely. And I was looking at the characteristics and I was like, okay, yes, this can apply to me, but then no, not this, not this, not this. 
And I feel like everything is just so broad that it's like trying to apply to as many people as possible and it's just, it doesn't make sense to me how just because someone's like born in the same month that they're gonna have the same life. But then again, I can also see like, oh, the moon controls the tides of the ocean and then we're 70% water, so what does that mean? But like at the same time, does it really mean anything? Or are we just making our arms sore from all that reaching, you know? But I'm not one to hate on things that people enjoy, so if you believe in it and it makes you happy, then go for it. I feel like my soul is dying for a concert. Like, you guys know I'm a big concert fiend and it's been forever since I've been to one. Okay, but not forever, like two months, but that's that's forever to me. I've already said this before, but my absolute favorite concert I ever went to was Tame Impala last summer at Float Fest. I still think about it. I was just re-watching my vlog this morning from it just because I wanted to pretend I was there again love Kevin Parker so much and he's coming to ACL in the fall so I'm thinking about coming home that weekend to go and see Tame Paul again so yeah we'll see I actually got this thing recently from my grandma's friend that lets me fly like anywhere in the world that American Airlines flies for free on standby which is so incredible like I literally cried when I found that out so I don't think it's forever it's just until like she wants to transfer it to I think her grandson so right now I'm making the most of it so I can like come home um, from New York for free. I can travel literally anywhere. That's why I'm going to Hong Kong because I have this free flight and then I have my friend's place to stay. So I'm like, why wouldn't I take advantage of such an amazing opportunity? So yeah, I probably will come home for ACL. I'm just thinking out loud. And another trip I think I want to do is India because, well, two reasons really. One, one of my best friends from Fordham, who you guys have seen in the vlogs, named Sushma, she lives in Mumbai and she really wants me to come visit her and I would absolutely love to visit Mumbai so I have a place to stay there and you know why not of course I would love to go and have her show me around like a local and then this might be a separate trip but I also want to go to Rekikesh for yoga teacher training because yoga is such a big part of my life I don't know who I would be without it it completely transformed um, my sense of spirituality and how I feel and connect to the world you think might think it's just oh it's just a workout but it's so much more than that to me and I can do a video just talking about like how it's changed my life. But anyways, I've been wanting to do teacher training for the longest time. At first I thought about just getting it done at Core Power, but then I thought, why would I go to this more like convoluted, Americanized like board yoga version of the class when I could actually go to the birthplace of yoga and learn more about the deep, rich history behind it and the spirituality behind it. So I was watching YouTube videos and I found out there's this Reiki Kesh yoga retreat where they give you like all vegan food, it's 30 days, like all inclusive, and you really just get to go dive deep into the core of yoga and the thing is I don't know how I would find 30 days just to take off but if I can find the 30 days and get my yoga teacher training done in that time and really get to immerse myself in the culture I think that would be amazing it's also a lot cheaper like I think here if I were to do the core power it'd be like three thousand dollars but then for 30 days like all inclusive of this training it's like a thousand so it's a lot more doable and then plus hopefully you get your money back as you're teaching more classes so yeah, I, that's something I want to pursue. I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon, but eventually. I'm getting to the last of the nuggets now. Okay, we need a little more ketchup here. These fries probably could have been cooked a little bit longer. I feel like anything I share that's like even near to a complaint, I have to like preface with some sort of like positive thing. Like, oh, it's okay, but it's not that big of a deal. Because I just always try and censor myself or like filter through what I'm going to say if it's going to be negative. Like if I think something negative and I'm around people, I just try not to say it because... I feel like saying the negative thing is not gonna help anyone or make anything better. It's just gonna bring people down, you know? And why would I wanna do that? The past few months with everything that's been going on, especially to just um, shift my perspective because that's all we can do with what we're given, you know, just make the best of it. My mom's favorite quote ever was like, the mind is its own place that can make a hell out of heaven or a heaven out of hell, something like that. And that's something that I always want to live by too. Yeah, these conversations are getting a little deep for my vegan chicken nugget talk, but that's just been on my mind as of lately. Don't know if anyone cares, but just felt like sharing. This meal is so good. It is fueling me for a long day of work that I have today. Working at retail really can test your patience sometimes. Like, I feel like I'm a pretty patient person, but sometimes people ask things and it's like, really? Who raised you? I'm not sure but you just have to keep smiling and being nice to them. Like, I don't mind annoying customers, but I'm just not a kid person. Like, when a little kid runs into my legs as I'm, like, trying to run back clothes, I'm like, oh my god. Kids are the one thing I just can't do. It's a good thing I'm not working at a trampoline park anymore because I pretty much only work with kids there, so. Well, kids and parents, of course. Now we have the last bite of the mukbang, this fry. Mm. 
so good. And I have cleaned my plate. So I think that that is going to end out this mukbang. If you ate along in this video, let me know what you ate down below. It's okay if it's not vegan. We don't judge here. This is a welcoming place. Let me know any video requests. I feel like I've asked so many questions throughout this video that you guys are going to be leaving like full-on essays with like Chicago style citations down below because that's how many things I've asked you or people just won't respond at all because I'm being annoying and asking too many questions. So either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't drink as much water as I should have. It was so nice just kind of getting back to my roots and just sitting down and chatting with you guys because I missed it. I feel like we haven't had a heart to heart in a while. I don't think this video needs to be any longer than it already is. So definitely make sure you check out Nugs if you feel like it. I will link them down below and I think they ship anywhere with dry ice. So even though it's a frozen item, you don't gotta worry about it. I I will also have everything from Shein, so thanks for working it up with the black clothes, Shein. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Uh, thank you for spending a portion of it with me, and I will hopefully see you soon. I used to say, like, see you next week, but, like, realistically, let's see you in, like, two or three weeks. But, okay, hopefully next week. Peace. Bye, guys. It feels nice.